Okay, we, we were showing how a small pyrolyzer can be used in a firebox fire, and I was pointing out how the spalling happens in these pyrolyzers and they just disappear in just a few a few cycles. So what I've done here is I found an old saucepan with a hole in the bottom and a, a stainless lid and arranged to get the lid to fit fairly tightly and fill it up with dry biomass, hammer it on or I can put self tappers in the side and then I've got another seal container and that'll last for many many cycles of pyrolysis. And you can go up one step further to uh, a pressure cooker which is going to be my main display pyrolyzer because it looks so swish but if you want to use a lot of char on your, in your garden then you have to really go up one more size again which is a 20 litre drum oil drums available almost everywhere the trick is to take the lid out fairly easily and this is the best technique I think uh, a hatchet <coughs> hatchet and a hammer wear boots the sharp edges down afterwards and you've got an open drum you can also use a chisel you use an axe I haven't been able to find a big enough can opener and if you have hundreds of them do I'm told an air chisel the drumming. These are old oil drums and they've got lots of muck and oil in them so that'll burn off. The paint on the outside is almost no mass and if you've got a hot fire, make sure you've got a hot fire and you're not making smoke, you're not you're going to burn most of that to carbon dioxide. So I don't think that the paint is an issue. So that's how to take the lid off a 20 litre drum. You fill your drum with dry biomass and then you invert it on a plate now that's one way of doing it like that so imagine this is now full of dry biomass and there's still an exit hole here for gas to come out and also just the weight of the drum will allow air uh, gas pyrolysis gases to come out all the way around the edge now, as the fire, you have to light a fire on the outside here to start cooking the pyrolysis drum. But once this starts cooking, it takes about anything for 15 minutes to an hour to start this pr um, process off. The wood gas that's coming out from this wood cooking comes out along this gap here and the annular gap around there and licks up over the drum and keeps the process going. So once you start it, you keep just a small fire going to keep this alight. And in about an hour and a half to two hours, you can allow the whole thing to go out, you let it cool down, open it up and you have your charcoal produced inside. A one person producing that much charcoal in one of those drums is about the footprint for a human being. If you sequester that much charcoal you're balancing approximately a human being's footprint for a day.